We did a systematic literature review on malaria resurgence. We identified 75 resurgence events. They spanned about from the 1930s until 2008, 61 countries. Uh, we used the definition of resurgence as an increasing trend in malaria incidence or prevalence following suppression achieved through the implementation of control efforts. So we're looking at areas that recently had malaria, uh, control measures were implemented, malaria was suppressed, and then malaria resurged again. As you reduce cases uh, and you bring them down to a certain level, it's going to be more costly to uh, go that extra, that last mile to eliminate versus keeping a controlled low endemic uh, stage for an indefinite amount of time. Um, some settings it will be vastly more expensive to go for elimination. Other settings it, it's hard to tell. We haven't, we're, we're kind of getting into a lot of that economic research right now. I will say though that if we don't bring it, if we don't get to zero, then there will always be that risk of resurgence. In 2009, malaria funding had risen to 1.8 billion dollars. Uh, and that, in turn, funded very aggressive scale-up of control tools. And the ones shown here, insecticide-treated bed nets, aggressively scaled up in sub-Saharan Africa, almost 300 million nets delivered by 2009. And in about a dozen countries in sub-Saharan Africa, the burden, cases or deaths, has been cut by more than 50% since the year 2000. These are amazing success stories, and we should celebrate them today, but but they are incredibly fragile. We need solutions to maintain the gains so that we can actually get to zero.